So we hear this term quite uh, often about work-life balance. What exactly is it? What are the various elements of life? And uh, these days we feel that our life has been overtaken by a lot of work compulsions that we are unable to give sufficient time to our families, to uh, health, to finances, to various other issues. I normally say that there are seven aspects of our life. A. Our health. B. Our work. Three. Uh, intellectual capabilities. Fourth is our emotional life. Fifth is our environmental life, the environment that we live in. Sixth is our education and academic life. And seventh, one of the most important but one of the most ignored part of life is spiritual life. When I say spiritual, it has nothing to do with religion. It has a lot to do with uh, our, our own self-actualization as Maslow has said. So when we talk about uh, work-life balance, we always take ourselves too seriously. Isn't that the fact? Yes, because of the hard economic realities of life, we are engrossed in work. That's one aspect. But what it has done to our relationships? We always feel that once we'll be successful, we'll be happy. So the, the uh, the fact is, it's the other way around. If we are happy, we'll be more successful. If you're happy, we'll be more energetic. If you're more energetic, we'll put those energies at work. So it's very important to live a balanced life. Now, when we talk about uh, living a balanced life, it means that I'm trying to balance my time, balance my energies, balance my priorities everywhere equally. And that is where we create harmony in life. That is where we create balance in life. So it's really important to manage ourselves well, to ensure that we are working well, our careers are progressing well. If we are happy, everything will fall in place. But if you're not, definitely then there's something that's going to impact, you know, too much of excessive work might end up in neglecting our emotional health or our physical health or, or too much of relaxed uh, mindset or lack of focus at work would impact our financial health. In such cases, it's really important to keep a good track of our time, the quality of time that we're spending, our family, our relationships, our personal time for ourselves, and most importantly, our emotional and uh, physical well-being. So it's really important that we manage ourselves well. How to do it? Well. It's a lifelong journey, one has to do it.